स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू सोर्स क्लासेस एंड दिस इज टी आई एफ आर जी एस मैथमेटिक्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सोल्यूशन पार्ट टू इन दिस विल सॉल्विंग फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री सो एफ एफ आर टू आर डिफाइंड एज दिस एफ एक्स इक्वल एक्स स्क्वायर साइन वन बाई एक्स दैन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट सो आर टू आर डिफाइंड आर इन दिस वे सो एफ इज नॉट बाउंडेड दैट्स फॉर श्योर डायरेक्टली ओके सो Option B is incorrect from this. Now, if we do f dash x, then this is 2x sine 1 by x minus cos of 1 by x. This is when x not equal to zero, and this is zero when x equal to zero. So f dash x is non-continuous at x equal to zero. So that means option C is also wrong. Next. If we uh, proceed further and we find f x equal to zero for all values of x equal to one by n pi, where n belongs to z, so x belongs to R given f x equal to zero. This is an infinite set. So as a result of that, option D is also incorrect. So the only possible option will be. It's a subjective structure. We can also show it by a one-to-one -one relationship. Next one. Let a n equal to n n equal to one to infinity be a strictly increasing bounded sequence of real numbers such that limit n tends to infinity a n equal to a for f of a n one to a. This continuous function such that Each positive integer i will follow this. Okay, and there exists another set b. So we will talk about two sets and infinitely many structures. Then the cardinality of b. Okay, so a n is a strictly increasing bounded sequence. So this is strictly increasing bounded sequence. Let's take a n equal to n by n plus one. So limit n tends to infinity. A n will be limit n tends to infinity. n plus one minus one by n, so one minus one by n plus one, that is equal to one. So hence, a equal to one in this example case. Now, if which is a one and i, where r be a continuous function and strictly increasing as well, for each positive integer, so this is also r is also continuous. So for this, if A i a i plus one and a i a i plus one. If we take these two, so r this is either strictly increasing or strictly decreasing. Okay. So let us consider f x equal to x plus one. So that is f of Half to one will be giving you this r. So f x equal to x plus one, which is strictly increasing. That is, f of a n we can take a n plus one. So now, if we take the positive integer, i such as this is as large as possible. So that is i tends to infinity within this. So there also we can get a limit. Limit n tends to infinity a n equal to a equal to one. So there are infinitely many some such terms in the sequences which converges to one. So infinite terms in the sequences which converges to one. Hence, for all that infinite. Possible values so for all those infinite values so a n and f of a n this is tends to two so hence as convergent. Sequence must have only one limit point. Convergent means one limit point. Hence, there will be only one such x which is in this a one to a closed interval for which f x equal to 
m so hence obviously option a is wrong c is wrong d is wrong and only the correct one is b at most one next if f of r to r be a function that satisfies this fx of y x minus y sin x minus y then which of the following statement is correct continuous uniformly continuous differentiability uniform continuity these are the stuff we have to check so let's see so fx minus fy divided by x minus y less than or equal to mod of sin x minus y so by putting x equal to y plus h we get f of y plus h minus f of y by h this is modulus less than or equal to sin h so limit h tends to 0 less than or equal to limit h tends to 0 sin h now this is an equal to zero constant function so this is the correct answer